Rick, the International Space Station is home to spacefarers from all sorts of countries, including our adversaries like Russia. Some of the astronauts and cosmonauts up there have a military background. How well does everyone get along up there and who resolves conflicts if they arise? Yeah, that's a good question, Will, in that, you know, you the good news is, is you don't just launch into orbit and start living with these people. You get to know them way in advance. Uh, for space shuttle missions, we used to train one year in advance. In space station expeditions, we used to train two and a half years in advance. So you're training with your Russian cosmonauts that you're going to live on orbit with. You're, tra uh, you're training with your Japanese astronauts, your European astronauts, and you become friends with these folks. You become very, uh, you, you get to know them very, very well. You get to know their families. You spend a lot of time in training. You spend a lot of time in stimulations with them. So you get to know them very well. But of course, anytime you put, uh, you know, I've been up on space station with as little as three people. Uh, the normal number of folks living on the space station is six or seven, but I've also been on the space station with up to 13 people. So whenever you're putting a large group of people from different backgrounds in a relatively small environment, then there's obviously there's a chance for issues to arise. In my experience, those issues have been pretty, pretty small. You know, somebody ate the last tortilla and when you were really dying for a tortilla, <laughs> Things like that, or you're looking for the, the a cup of you know a, a bag of coffee, and uh, and you see your Russian uh, crewmate floating down the hall with the last one. Little things like that, like uh, you know I I need to keep better track of my coffee, but I've never seen any major issues. Um, now, the, the Russians and the U.S. segments they are not isolated from each other. The Russians have their segments. They maintain their segments. They work in their segments, performing experiments and things. And then you have the U.S. segment on our side where the U.S. astronauts are working and we're performing experience, performing maintenance. We, we, uh, we are we're welcome to go into the Russian segment. They're welcome to come into the U.S. segment. So there's no isolation of any kind. Uh, we share resources. They use our exercise equipment. Sometimes we have to use their bathroom if our bathroom goes uh, is, is not working. So we get along very well. But um, we spend we, we spend our own time doing our own things. And that's, uh, in, and that's true for all the different uh, nationalities. Uh, some nights we would go down to the Russian module and they would host dinner. Some nights they would come down to the US modules and we would host dinner. And so there's a lot of camaraderie there. And uh, if there was ever a problem, the space station does have a commander and the commander's job is really, if there's a, a major failure or a safety issue, the commander's job would be to kind of take charge and kind of dish out assignments, say, you go do this and you go do that. Let's get the space station back to a safe configuration. But in general, the commander uh, doesn't have to do much uh, since things run pretty smoothly. So if you had a tortilla thief, is there a brig that you can isolate them in? <laughs> uh, we don't have a brig, but we have a plenty of duct tape. 